Labor Day and elections this day celebrating workers also a signal to local election campaigns to start their sprint to the finish line. Thanks for staying with us at six. I'm Marley Ginter in tonight's politics at large. Steve is live for us at a Labor Day party with the renewed focus on the Sacramento mayor's race and things really picking up, right, Steve? Yeah, and I'm live here at Fairy Tale Town for this Labor Day party, but this is real life. You know, if it's felt like the mayor's race has been in a bit of a lull lately, get ready for it to leap into high gear starting right now. <laughs> Labor Day means locking in. So we're kicking in high gear. For Sacramento mayoral candidates, Kevin McCarty and Dr. Flo Kofer. We're feeling really energized. You know, we have been out in the community. The two candidates reacquainting themselves with voters. And I've been out there knocking on doors and voters are like, what, election? When's it happening? It is important, right? We are approaching the 60-day mark before the election, so that's a big deal. The campaign's re-emerging after the recent bitter end to Sacramento's Camp Resolution experiment. The city sweeping the homeless safe ground last week. I thought the city ha handled Camp Resolution really poorly, but not just in the end from the outset. It was a mess. Um, you know, that was uh, a flawed site. A lot of people I know feel like the city either isn't listening to them or isn't working well together. Former Sacramento Mayor Heather Fargo has yet to support or endorse either candidate. I asked her why. I think that that the city would be well served by either, frankly, um, if if they can get the rest of the council to work with them. It's crunch time. Political strategist Doug Elmet says this is the time voters begin truly paying attention. Kofor's campaign contributions are at $270,000 for the year. McCarty has raised more than half a million dollars this year in contributions. And money matters because that's get out the vote, it's phone calls, it's yard signs, it's a direct mail. We've been counting down for a while. And there's no longer election day, it's election month. As Sacramento awaits a new era in City Hall on this Labor Day, the launch of the final push to elect who will lead the way. And the soundtrack here at this Labor Day party is the Tower of Power as we do a story about the power of politics. Hard to believe, but early voting starts October 8th. That is just five weeks away from this Labor Day here today.